you know, the, you know, I, I come from a. I just want to say I come from an addictive background, and a lot of people, and there's a lot of different addictions out there. And it's the I, you know, a lot of people are like, I want the thing to fix me, whatever it is, you know, whether it's George Clooney, um, the lottery, you know, Lamborghini, um, a thin body, or whatever it is. And if if you've been, you know, that that is, you know, if you know, this is my view. If I'm having those thoughts, I'm not at. I'm not in. A, I'm not in the infinite field. I'm not in the infinite field of presence or flow, because those thoughts can only occur if there's some kind of lack in my vibration in the moment. So that's where they can take root. And if I'm very disconnected from the now, or from God consciousness, or from those enlightened states, then those can actually become obsessions. And this this projection of a magical idea that if I can get something in the future that thing will suddenly uh, fix me or, or do something. So I'm actually in a state, you know, I'm in one of those lower vibrations, that's where these thoughts can actually take root. If you're in a, you know, and everyone's, I believe that everyone's had these states either for a short time or for long periods of time, these flow states or these states of infinite limitless presence. In, the, in those states you know, more or less there is presence, you know, thoughts may spontaneously arise, but there's nothing, if you were to say to someone when they're in these states of infinite presence, if I, if I could give you this thing, would you be more happy, or would you feel more fulfilled, you know, it'd be ridiculous, because they can't exist in that field. It's like if you had, if you felt absolute peace, happiness, joy, and abundance, an absolute presence and connection with life. If, if, if someone came up to you and said, like, if you had, if I could get you an ice cream, would you be happier? It would just, it would not, it would not stick. Or if I could take you to Tibet right now, would you be happier? That, would, that thought would not stick. Or if I could arrange for you to get married to George Clooney, would that make you happy? I don't know why you look at me when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, you know, I just... There's something about myself I just didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, George Clooney or, or whoever the, the, the hot romantic... Oh, there was another Who's one the who female? Gosling. Oh, Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling, yeah, Gosling. Ryan Gosling, or whoever the, the latest heart throb <laughs> is. So, in those infinite fields, you know, it's like, it's preposterous that, you know, you need to even go there or even take a trip because you have everything right now. So, hence, this whole thing of like, you know, if I let go of everything, then I'll have everything. But if I want something, but you know, these, these are different levels of consciousness. And actually, um, also, it was St. Francis you know, St. Francis said, you know, it's not to seek love, but to be of love. And this is the thing, like, when you're in those infinite fields, there's a flow. And actually, you could say that one is full, one is full of the grace of the universe. And that's an infinitely radiating state, um, a state of infinite power and infinite radiance. But as soon as the ego starts to hold on to what I call special thoughts or meaningful thoughts or, or magical thoughts, or whatever you want to call them, then you're now in a state of, you're in these lower states of vibration. So it's like, it's in my best interest to be at the highest vibration I can, and, and to stay away fr uh, from the lower vibration, because they'll, they'll attract. Once you, the th key thing to know is that one gets payoff. One gets payoff from addiction. And whatever the addiction is, um, even on, the, even on the subtle payoffs, like let's say you've got an alarm every hour to be in the observer, you know, and, and you're letting go of the, you're actually letting go of the payoff of the drama of the ego, you know, and there's a subtle, you know, there, there are subtle, there's subtle appeal to being in the head and to be in the future and the past all the time and to trying to be imagining how you can orchestrate life. So if you're just like trying to practice every hour to be in presence, just in this moment, you can let that go. And well, what's the payoff there? Well, the payoff is that there's the familiarity of just being in the head all the time. You know, or if there's, you know, there can be the payoff of certain types of food. 
or there's the payoff of romantic fantasy, or there's the payoff of uh, the hit of a compliment on a date, or whatever it is. Or there could be the payoff of the fantasy of like, when I get married and have some kids, then that will be when I arrive. So there's all these payoffs uh, that the ego does. And the more that the ego has like invested interest in them, the more one is disconnected from, from presence.